Good morning, everyone. It's time to say good morning to the babies. These little ones are not so little. These little big babies, or big little babies, <laughs> are, what are they? They're nine days old today. This is Sheba and Jericho's babies. I've got them laying on a fleece mat because I just changed out the whelping bed. Let mom outside so she could have a break and I could get some alone time with these gorgeous little things. Yeah, hello, baby jacks. Oh, they're just so, so beautiful. Nine days old and all of them are over a pound in weight. There's our little girl, Shaylee. See if I can do this in the order they were born. I do not have a cheat sheet with me, but I think I know them now. This is Shaylee. She was our firstborn and our only girl. She's a black masked fawn, and she has already been claimed. And she is just perfect. So perfect, so beautiful. I'll put you back in your bed. Oh, he sneezed on me. Oh, I thought, yeah, it's a little too early for eyes to open yet. But, gosh, in the next couple of days, they should be there. Isn't she just beautiful? So perfect. And that is Shaylee. And then... Yeah, I'm going to need my cheat sheet. <laughs> Do I have it? Let me see here. Okay, Jacob was our number two puppy. Yeah, and this is Jacob. He is a black mass fawn. He was our largest puppy. Look at you, gorgeous. He's too, so big, I can't hardly handle him at all one hand. I can move him, but I can't really handle him to show him unless he's partially on the ground. Jacob is a full-on black masked fawn. Come here, baby. Got the beautiful, rich black mask coloring. Black in the fawn down his back. He's just gorgeous, and uh, I guess I have to have to tell y'all, Jacob and our third baby was Jordan. Jacob and Jordan are both full-on black black mask. They have the perfect face markings, black mask all the way. And both of them are up for discussion right now. Somebody in Ontario, Canada is wanting both of these boys. As soon as they check out whatever transportation uh, regulations have to be met, then I will know for sure, but they are definitely uh, being discussed right now to go together to a family in Ontario, Canada. So that just tickles me pink. <laughs> I am so excited. Uh, we had a baby last, in, well, in January that went to Honolulu, Hawaii. And in November, we sent uh, my little lilac girl to Alaska. So to, to now to think that a couple of our babies would end up in Canada all the way from Lowell, Arkansas. That just, that's exciting to me. Oh, it's okay, honey. So there's Shaylee and Jordan. No, I think that's Jacob and Jordan. <laughs> and uh, then we had our gorgeous little red fawn baby. Go in here, sugar. Oh, he's just beautiful. I love their haggardy dots. 
his and Shaylee's, I'm pretty sure are definitely going to remain as they grow up. Sometimes the the face coloring will grow into the Haggerty dot. You can see them nice when they're little, but as their heads get bigger, they lose it. But it's still there. <laughs> but I don't think theirs is going to get lost. I think they're going to remain. Jack's is our red fawn. And I think this boy is going to be rather fancy looking just because he has he has the big wide white collar like mom but he's also got this white going up and down these back legs which just gives him a little bit of a fancy look my black and white girl ray ray also has that and i just it looks like lace running up her legs so i doubt if jacks would wear lace but Maybe it's leather for him. <laughs> oh, anyway, he's just gorgeous. And uh, he is available. And then our last baby born was Benny. And he is the black mass fawn on one side. Yeah, there you are. He's got the two face look. <laughs> Hello, baby. He's a beautiful black mass fawn on one side, but I bet his Haggerty dot is going to remain. So that's going to be interesting. I think he's going to be very distinguished looking. It's going to be beautiful. All of them are beautiful regardless. But uh, I just can't wait till their eyes open and their personalities start popping because I, I got a feeling they're going to their markings and their looks, their personalities are just going to fit each one of them and be unique. Oh, what's the matter with that little girl? What is it? Huh? Get right there with the rest of the crowd. So anyway, that's our morning update. I got them all squared away. I'll get Mom back in here and then... Uh, I'll let them rest for the rest of the day, and I'll probably, oh, I'll be popping in all day long, but I probably won't do another video until later this evening. So, uh, as it stands right now, I still have two boys for sure, the red fawn and the boy with uh, black mask on one side, and I will know for the two black mass fawns, I will know about them early this week as soon as we get the information about um, getting them into Canada. I know going to Alaska was no biggie. The transporter, I guess, does that on a regular basis and he handled all of those arrangements for the, the new family. But uh, Honolulu, Hawaii turned out to be a little bit different because they have some strict quarantine regulations so that baby was going to remain in the states until he's four months old and has all his vaccines including the rabies so that he can fly into Hawaii without being put into quarantine so I'm I'm excited to learn what Canada's regulations are but it doesn't I don't expect it to be a problem. I've got a feeling that these babies can just go anywhere uh, that somebody wants to take them. But I will update everybody as soon as I know. Right now, they're like I said, they're nine days old. So we have time to get the information. Look at that little red boy. I'm telling you, he is fancy looking. He is just so pretty and He's just fancy. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous babies. Anyway, I'm in Lowell, Arkansas, so somebody uh, contact me if you're interested. Check out my website, bogansbostons.com. You can find me on Good Dog website as well under Bogans Bostons. Anyway, 